circle. One special announcement about the beer that's being served. Dave Cowie of Three Forks Bakery and Brewery has created a special beer honoring the salmon. And his endangered ale is made from Chinook hops, which are red hops. And Three Forks is donating 33% of all the proceeds from this ale to Circle's Yuba Salmon Now program. So thanks to Shauna and Dave for that. So thank you so much for joining us on this special day, Earth Day, when we've chosen to come together to talk about the state of our precious Yuba River watershed. I'd like to thank Circle's board, of, board members. Please stand or wave. Well, there are quite a few of you here, so any board members, let's see you. They work really hard all year long and, and lend a lot of expertise to the organization, so thanks so much for doing that. And I also want to thank um, the staff, especially Jen Tamo, who's really stepped up this year as our uh, River People Manager and has done a wonderful job, and she coordinated this event. <laughs> and all of the staff, you're going to be impressed by what they have to say and show you this evening. So any, all the, let's have all the staff members just, you know, stand up or wave your hand. Jen is right here, Caleb, Rachel, lots of people. And very importantly, really, I want to thank all the volunteers who have pitched in to make this event possible. Circle's work just wouldn't get done without the many volunteers that uh, are required to do things throughout the year. So if you're volunteering tonight, let's see a show of hands. All right, thanks. And maybe people who have volunteered throughout the year for Circle, I, I bet that's most of you, but if you volunteered for Circle this year, please raise your hand. We want to acknowledge you. Thank you very much. So I also want to welcome tonight some elected officials, people who work hard for us here in Nevada County, and they've chosen to come to our Earth Day event. Nancy Weber from NID, over there, thank you. Grass Valley Council Member Howard Levine, Howard, up right there. And Nevada County Supervisor Dan Miller. Thanks, everyone. OK, this evening's program, the State of the Yuba, is an important event for Circle. We come together all year round to clean up the river, to look at movies at the film festival, and to party at Wild for the Yuba, and raise money there, too. But we are here tonight to bring you more information about what Circle is doing to protect the watershed, and to let you know how you can be part of our mission. Our work is guided by a strategic action plan, which we are currently updating. And so we want to report out to you about our progress and our challenges. Now, I feel a special dedication to the work that Circle is doing because of the drought. For 45 years, I have lived on the San Juan Ridge, and we have depended on a spring for all of our water needs. Last summer, our, our spring went dry. This spring has bedrock mortars around it, so it has been a source of water for many people over the millennia. I see at a very personal level the importance of doing whatever we can to protect and restore the watershed. Circle's work restoring mountain meadows in the high country and monitoring water quality throughout the watershed and sponsoring um, children's uh, conservation, water conservation assemblies are just examples of how Circle is responding to the drought conditions and trying to improve the conditions that we're living under. So it's important for us all to be here to celebrate the work that's been, that we've done and that we're going to continue to do and to stay engaged. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> 